All right, Tarsh, you had the first question. You wanted to uh, kick things off. Yeah, so I, I want to tell you, I said something really, really stand up. Probably many people, probably many people raise with the eye, but they don't ask the about the bookstore. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they did have a bookstore because you have yeah, man. enough ones with chance revolution and everything, but they never take it to them. I say, as simple as it was, seem. Enough time them say, majority, majority of the youths in the yard, like them say them illiterate and, and stuff like that, see me, which were kind of equate to crime, which I don't really subscribe to, but who are the high audience them for the, when the bookstore did that really run? Who was the audience? But the same, look at you, the same youth and some big people interested in a black consciousness, you know. It was the first black bookstore in Jamaica, and people have said, why we have to have a black bookstore in a black country? I mean, I said, if you're going to the other bookstore, you know, it's not about black people in there. You know, the book them imported from some big um, artists and things where it's very white. So we decided to say, we are going to just have a bookstore where just sell pure black book and run cassette and video with pure, you know, you know, Ben Yokian and John Henry Clark and all them people there. And we, we, we sell African cloth and them thing there, you know. So it's just a normal you them who are coming there, you know, people who are listening to the program in the night. Them come for all the cassette. Them teams that you, know, you couldn't see it on YouTube. You know, you'd have to go, me, me would have to go run it off and give up. You know, so yes, it, it, it lasts quite a while, you know, until we decide, say, we have a move, you know. That's right. And, and I wanted to ask Muda, right, because um, enough people would talk about black consciousness and black liberation. They leave out the industrial side. And I see as a man that always dealt with the, the, the hustling industry. as well as yeah the industry right no I know also I also you know <laughs> I know also I also yeah right? because here one out we start the first L food store in Jamaica right even before the bookstore we did have a L food store and then we incorporate them because we start to sell the book them in the L food store also so we did recognize from a longer time as Rasta say. We need to really project this culture upon another level, you know, and that is commercially. So we open a health food store, and out of that health food store, we see, say, a whole heap of one start to get motivated. And then we see a whole heap of health food store open. And it was not a health food store with the pan the side of a gully around the corner, back of a yard, and then we really like, you know, I and I come up with that. We come up with ital food I sell run at the back of the yard, a man sit down and I smoke herbs and all them something there. Well, we decided to go, that it go up front in our plaza and set up where we eat in our plaza. You understand? So it go on and go on and then we incorporate the bookstore. Unfortunately, we did have to move out of that place there and the place where we get, we couldn't accommodate. Well, we did accommodate the, another health food store, but we did have to sell dry goods. You know, health food, dry goods, like, you know, going to any health food store in America and buy the dry goods without cooking. And then, as I said, we did have to move. So that is all now. We say, we can't go on like this now. We can't just I, I, I make the thing stop here all the while. And if we can't cook in our store, we have to find space. So we use the book part right now and extend it. So it's so now we transform or trans or evolve from the health food store to the bookstore. You know, meanwhile, we still have the program and use it as a, a propaganda machine for push our worldview as Rasta, you know? And, and oh, oh. go ahead, Artaxi, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, cause I want, I want, I love how they use the word propaganda because we will want to ask there this car, what do you, I have to blaze a fire upon some of the elder them because I hear some elder, I don't know where they get this talk from, say, Marcus Garvey is a criminal. I don't know how a man with locks on the middle. Who said that? I hear some Ella say that talk. Say Marcus Garvey a criminal. Black, black Ella who have rasp on yeah, yeah, I didn't want to call him a name, but. Well, who are we a criminal? Who are we a criminal then? So, a question now in myself now, where me really want to know, I wonder if, if, if they are make politicians and use propaganda no more than, more than a man will claim him a revolutionary. Because to I, when you read the philosophies and opinion now, Marcus Garvey have pushed the agenda, propaganda. Propaganda, propaganda. Yeah, but that is all you're gonna get for push your ideas and, and, and your philosophy and opinions out there. You have, propaganda is just continuously saying the things them, you know, and making more people hear it. You know, the, propaganda is not only where politicians use for, for push for them agenda. We use propaganda, Marcus Gabby used propaganda for push him agenda. That is why I'm getting so popular. 
him get so popular to push the same way with the COVID, you know. The, 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 the conspiracy of them louder than the truth of the thing. Because the propaganda machinery, heavy between the people, them. You know, so when we say propaganda, me are talking exactly like what it mean. We have an agenda, an African agenda, a Pan-Africanist agenda. And the more we say it, because even this is propaganda, what we are doing now. Oh. We are using the medium of electronics and the medium of TV and whatsoever to push an agenda. And that is propaganda. We are not fight against the word. If, you, if, if we, the word is where we say it. It's like how Rafter said, I'm not deal with politics. Yet still politics run the whole of our life. And, and, and speaking of propaganda, I'm glad you cleared up that because people have negative connotations for propaganda and people need to understand. We can, we have big platforms, right? But we're actually spreading a propaganda that's detrimental to us. And I don't think a lot of people are aware of that in regards to- White supremacy, white supremacy. That is really the propaganda we're buying with. You see, that is why we're afraid of certain things, you know, because when we hear certain words, we kind of shun it off, you know, instead of really dig deep into the meaning. Sometimes we don't have to use it, you know, but guess what now? Them take away language from you, you know, and we are used to them language. That's why Rasta is so unique. Because even though Rasta is speaking, you know, you define the language in our own cultural expression. You know, you hear the Rasta man say, I and I and I tell and them things, and people say, what kind of foolish is that? But because I'm so, so, so cluster, cluster up with the English language, he have to find a way of express himself outside of the English language. So him, him almost like a twist up the English language to suit himself. So really and truly, you know, we, we who are defined the Africanness must identify white supremacy. And that is where you are talking about you now. White supremacy is where old way and buying way in our space where we can't even find who we are as a people and what we're intent supposed to do. You know, we, we have them religion and I say our religion, you know, and everybody. Lead. White man, God can't save you from white man oppression. You know, that is simple that. If a white man a pray to God and him so in abundance of things that him can't even go to Africa and pray to him God and get Africans and go turn them in a slave. And we are praying to the same white man, God. How the hell that ever work? That now ever work? Yet still we did have our gods in Africa thousands of years before the Arabs and white people go there. Thousands of years. We did have institutions, universities and all them something there. We need to reclaim for our them something there. You know? So we have to understand and we have to, we have to look into white supremacy. That is really we're buying the thing, you know. White supremacy, tie we down. See, that's why we really probably can't really recognize Marcus Garvey. That's why I will if we can't even recognize African spirituality. You know, even Rasta, the Rasta will fight against African spirituality because them say it not align with Judeo Christianity. And that is really in itself a, a terrible thing. Because the African spirituality, the Yoruba tradition, the Akan tradition, the voodoo and the Wobi, all of them things there is embedded in our cultural expression. And that is why we must go inside, go dig out, because it was long before Judaism, Christianity, Islam. And all them something there. And now we get him, we get so engulfed in night that we attack both Babylon, like say Babylon is a terrible place more than Rome. Rome is where we must fight against no Babylon. Babylon in Iraq, Babylon did have great empires and you know some of the seven wonders of the world, the Angans and them thing there. But because we align ourselves with Judaism, we keep fighting against African concepts, African perception, and that is really we're buying with right now. So we need the propaganda to move that from in front of it and say no to Jesus and God and all these things and move where Islam and Muslim and all them something and go forward to our original way where they call the root, not the branch. And, and Faye, you brought up the Jesus thing, right? So how, how we deal when you reason with your Bridgens, Rastafari Bridgens, that, that on the Jesus vibe? Because I, I get the vibe that some of these it's a mixture with some Christianity thing is, is mixing up with, with, with yeah. uh, people in the Rastafari. Yeah, the black liberation. Yeah, you know, the so black liberation you... aspect of the thing is like the one them I, 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 I move from the black liberation and I go into a one love type of concept. Yeah, yeah the one love in thing. Yeah, all right, here we know. We have to evolve, you know. 
we start at one place, we can't stuck at a place there, you know. Because the more you have information is the more you expand your knowledge and your understanding. The older you grow is the more experience you have. You understand? So we have to figure out now how to combine knowledge and experience. Because them say knowledge is where you use now for untangle certain factual and certain logical explanation of things. And experience now is where you personally know without reading it in a book, but just looking upon or earth around and you know say well this is where it go you don't plant certain food at certain time because food are gonna get eat out by worm you know say moonshine and that have a whole heap of things to do with water and them, something like that. so that is experience you understand now the knowledge where we get is this now we learn of christianity through a book named the bible and somewhere along the line them configure the book to satisfy we are talking about white people now. White people can't figure out the book to satisfy themselves. So they draw from our African history, African culture, African spirituality, and compile a book when you're in the Bible and start to use it and then kill people and force people to deal with that book. Now we come now, and I say Rasta now, Rasta come, and the only thing we did have in our environment was the bible so the old rasta them coming out of that revivalist baptist kind of movement them use the bible for really try to help them to liberate themselves by we call it now you're blocking the bible because we know say a whole heap of the things they went in the bible never did happen in europe it happened in africa so just by understanding that a lot of the things them Egypt and Ethiopia and places is in Africa. We start to now examine the concept of God in Africa. But the concept of God in Africa is really stagnated by how we view the Bible and what them call historical rather than mythical by biblical um, arguments. So we couldn't get to decipher out that because we were so anxious to liberate ourselves through Leonard Owell. When Leonard Owell say, when I deal with the, the, the king in England, we I deal with the king in, a, in a Africa. And we start to know, defy the king in a Ethiopia. And we start to know, say, the king in a Ethiopia, because we read it in the Bible. We say, the king in a Ethiopia is Jesus Christ, return Messiah. So all of the things then we will define as our reality now is based up of how we view the Jesus in the Bible. And in order to integrate that Jesus in the Bible, we integrate it in ourselves and use that now to, to try to liberate it. But things and times change. It moves. Spirituality is defined in a different level. The consciousness where we have now and the information we have, sure we say, we now go heal Jesus Christ, whether I name Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, whatsoever, we now name it. And a whole heap of the things that in the Bible come from African traditions, come from African experience. So we now go back to the root. That's why we go now to see philosophies by people like Ben Yokyanan who studied the history, J.A. E. Rogers, you know, John, all of them, whole heap of them, who go there, go study the thing and know, say, watcha, they go off of the branch and go to the root of the thing. And when we go to the root and we realize, say, Eilis Lassie, it makes sense. It makes sense talking about Eilis Lassie and seeing Eilis Lassie as the center of a concept. But it don't make sense to say Eilis Lassie is Jesus Christ. Because when a group, the biggest group in Jamaica, which is at first the 12 tribe of Israel, and your father was, was part of that too. Don't it? Yes, I. Sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. The biggest group, the 12 tribe of Israel, them come with a concept where them put Jesus first. Right? God them say, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has this year revealed himself in the personality of Emperor so that's the first. Right? All right. So, them gone now with the Jesus Christ concept of Isaac so Selassie. Now, my contention is, if you keep holding on to Jesus Christ, one of the days you're going to have to go to Isaac Selassie. See? <laughs> It's so simple because Jesus Christ now is a pivotal point of your direction. Yes, I. Right? If Jesus Christ is the pivotal point of your direction, it means uh, 
Jesus Christ more important than Iris Lassie. Now, the next thing with them use is that them say, Jesus, Iris Lassie is a Christian in Ethiopia, from a member of the Orthodox Church. Of course, him is a Christian and a member of the Orthodox Church. But him not looking upon himself like, oh, I look upon him. Just like, oh, the, pe the people them in a, in a so-called Jesus, they never look upon Jesus right? like, oh, Christian look upon him. Yeah, see? Strictly so we have to, yeah, we have to evolve. The Jews them never see Jesus Christ like all the Christians them see. True. Right? And he never see himself that way then either. So when I look upon it now and I say, but wait, certain evolution that makes sense. It ever evolved now where I say, what is it that Rastaman is saying that we don't have to hold on upon the branch where white people give it? And we come to conclusion and say, look, you know, Rastafari is a black power movement with a spiritual nucleus. That means that you can't let go of the black power because you have to now see how black power and the nucleus of your spirituality connect to your historical, cultural, and whatsoever else you want to deal with it. And that is really what happened right now. Rastafari is holding on more upon what they did reading of the Bible originally. And it kind of, it's it not valid when you come on to Isaiah Selassie because let alone never tell you about Isaiah Selassie a God, man. Him say, a black king we are dealing with and we have to liberate ourselves from white supremacy. Black power, white supremacy must move and we can't continue to praise white Jesus and then a black man. Because if you, if, if, if you see Jesus by the wall and you say, Jesus is a black man, it don't make no difference if Jesus is a black man and a white man, if you have the same concept of Jesus. Concept because when you say, idea, yeah. yeah, when you say Jesus is a black man, you know, you don't change the concept of Jesus, you know, more than say, why well, you know, like Jesus, white Jesus. But when you, you, when you start to quote him, you say, why well, you want to see Jesus walk on water, and Jesus feed 5,000 people with how much fish, and Jesus do this, and Jesus did say this, and Jesus did say that. Jesus, what's the job of Jesus? It say. There was no man named Jesus. Jesus is a configuration of European gods and goddesses that move to and through where they will exist today for the, for the Europeans. Them. And we still are all up on it. The man who them acclaimed work 2,000 years ago, he was a Hebrew who did have a Hebrew name. Jesus is not a Hebrew name. You understand? And he wasn't that, he wasn't a magician. See, the mythology come because these people are read other mythologies from Africa. And then them start to connect the whole of them and bind the whole of them. Jesus is like a, it's like 10 different gods in a one man. That is what them do. Them put 10 different gods. Because if you look at all of the attributes of Jesus in the Bible, it relates to something else in a, some other culture. Egyptian culture, um, Chinese culture, you know, all of them, the Rastaism, all of these things come from, uh, the Jesus come from them thing there. We as Rasta now, we experience something in Jamaica. And that is the greatest teacher now. We never experience Jesus. We experience saying Emperor Isle Selassie is the Almighty. And we look upon the sun, the stars, the moon. We look upon eat, air, and water. We plant with food. And we wear locks and it just look dirty and nasty and we get licked feet, but we still hold up on that. And that is the root of Rasta. The yes, talk long round it. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Show me the why you ask me what you put question. I'll answer all of the questions before you ask. You know, one of the things that we really I'm really over from the other day is that critical thinking is a thing where it, it really uh, disrupt the flow of uh, humanity because there is a sort of idea. And, it, and it's so funny, me have a laugh still, you know, but me not laugh, me not laugh because it kind of, it, it just kind of set away all the people and the mentality. See, remember the reason why I all, all would think it was Reggaeville about the penis war? Oh, yeah, oh, why all oh, them fellows have a, war, a penis war in the stadium, and who oh, have the biggest penis we win. So, what you're going, what do you know? You say, what do you? The whole thing, the resurface on Facebook, you know. So it, you mean the, 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 the thing when we say to the white girl? Yeah, so it resurfaced. I know, Alan, you know, yeah. It's resurfaced on Facebook now. I have some whole heap of people. It, it, it get viral and whatever, and whole heap of people are sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see the people, you see the people, and we are sure it though. 
is not a positive set of people. It's a set of people where them not have critical thinking. It's like they are them. I you know they are used to the whole man, 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 yeah. Well, tell me where, where them at, say. Where them at, say. But come, you know, yeah, where them at, say. You know, where them at. Yeah, you know, the regular thing, yeah, man. The man, they move a real mad man, you know. The man, they, the man, they Oh, yeah, yeah. We've been mad for a long time. I know what happened. We don't know what happened without truth. We go out of fire and cold in a cold weather without truth and all them. I'm a mad man, original mad man. So me now, me now just, just, just take it up for myself. So, all right, what me I got to do now? Me I got to look upon the individual and where I said them things. Yeah. I'm really just, just cruel. Me don't know why I'm find myself have time to do that still, but we just got to look upon the individual and where I said that. I'm, I'm realize it's a money driven thing. Them caught up in a capitalism. Them caught up in a commercialism. What do I feel? How do, how do I feel like the destructiveness of mankind caused by the whole lack of critical thinking? What do I, what do I say that? All right, you see the penis thing. All right, when I try to prove to them. What I try to show them is that if you look upon a bullet, it's shaped like a penis. If you look upon a rocket, it's shaped like a penis. And what I say is the inadequacy of white people, sexual thing, cause them to a whole heap of perversion. And one of the perversion is a bullet. One of the perversion is a rocket where Africa pierce the sky. The, Af the, 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 the American, they make a, a bomb during the Saddam war. That them say, this bomb can go 500 feet under the ground. Why would a man be making a bomb shaped like a penis? Because there is a, is a connection between them mind and them inadequacy sexually. No. If you check it, during the American slavery, we are going to America, every black man that was found lynch, them find them without them penis. Cash grade, I'm serious thing too. White people cut off them pieces and put it in a back and go home with it. So I have tried to draw the link between white people, sexual inadequacy, and it's so sexually inadequate, they have to use something to compensate for them lack of sexual powers. So everything, every weapon where they make and every destruction where they make, make like a penis and that is used to compensate. That's all I say. And, and Muda, the next question I'm going to ask you is about the family situation, right? I was recently reading something and it said about three out of ten women of African descent in America are married. And in, in reality though, right? Like, how are we supposed to grow if the family structure is not there? It not going to grow. It not going to grow. And the system is making sure that it don't grow. Because the, the, the impediment that is set up in front of the black family, where the father, the father who's supposed to be there with him children them, cannot provide for him children them. And because they cannot provide for them children, there's a certain animosity in the household. Plus, the idea of monogamy is an impediment because man is by nature polygamous. And if you have a person who is polygamous, polygamous and him in a monogamous society, I'm going to sneak because I'm afraid to tell him why. Because I'm telling him why, I'm not saying the marriage done. Because the wife is not, is not culturized to deal with a polygamous relationship because she's in the Western world. And one of the things that keep the family together is the concept of polygamy, where the village takes care of the children. And what is the village? You have a man with three, four wives. The picnic for one of the wives called all of the mother, all of the mother. You understand? We can't do that in the Western world because woman now was clan feet and the man was sneak and sneak, sneak all over the place. And then that our cars break down. The, 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 the society is not able to entertain such a thing, but yet the society is not able to provide the the place the structures that the man can really find him way out land is a power land is power most jamaican people don't have land 70 
700,000 people, them call them squatter, because most of the land them in Jamaica is seen as the queen land or the crown land. Now, if you just live in a box, and as you come out of the box, you go on in the street, and you don't have no way to plant food, it's a jukalical thing, that's a jukalical thing and so. You have to go buy everything. And if you have to go buy everything, you have to have money. And if you, have, if, if you do have no money, you're a guy that I go, go figure it out. It's like, them, it's like when them same master say, him, 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 him give you, emancipate you. Him emancipate you and let you go out there. And him not give you no compensation or reparation. Him don't give you none of these things. So what do you expect you to do? Because you go go away and depend on film land still, you know. So you know what you go do? You either got tea for him to and kill him, or you go and go really that. capture a piece of the land. And if you capture the land and him come find you upon it, him go and go shoot you. But him let you go, you know. Him say free, you know. How can you free a man without land? Freedom without land is not freedom. Land is power. If you don't have no land, you don't have any power. No. Most of the war them that fight on earth was fought for land. Up to this day, the Palestinian and the Israel them have fight over land. When you see the, the Syrian them a fight and them thing, it's land them a fight over. So land is power. The apartheid system take away land. See? All so-called third world people, them need land. The place is not overpopulated. Where people are saying, why the, the world overpopulated? It's like them I tell. It's unequal distribution of land. Land is power. And that is really where we want. We don't want a little box. And that is where they must serve you. They must say, you're you going up the year now with people that stack pants up our people. Pants up. African people don't live so. We never used to live that way the way we have. Where them call it projects, where you have a box or so, and somebody living there, they have another box or so, and all 10 store up in the sky. Right, they have right, a right. box, 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 and then you say, I live. That is not living. Living for African people is like, oh, the animal, them just run wild, and then at the night, them just find a little place to go sleep. We have our house. We must be able to come out of the house and say, land, land, for plant little food or something, plant little food or so. It's just simple. Them catch you going to America where we leave a land when we are California and you can't afford to go to California. You stay in one little city and all you have to do is find money and you get up every day and look money. That is where break up the family. There is no conscious effort to keep the black family. The black man them lose it. I mean, I said that. The black people, the black man them, matter what the man them, the man them lose it. Them don't know what, where to go and how to come. Literally come. I really tell you. Would I have a next question, right? You brought up something in regards to uh, black men. And there's a rise in case of uh, mental illness and uh, depression, right? So you guys experienced a lot during your tribe. And why do you think mental health is such an issue in these modern times? Because people can't cope, man. You see this COVID thing, yeah? This COVID thing has caused bully for mental issues, you know. Yeah, mental issues. Enough, COVID, enough mental issues come up back now because of the COVID. You understand? So we have the pressure of everyday life, and you can't afford to maintain. Hey, a man wants to take care of his family, you know. Nobody, no man out there don't want to just take, don't take care. He wants to know him can't take care of his family. And when he can't take care of his family, him get unstable, him, 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 him not, the mental ability, him faculties kind of get dismantled and him find himself to do other things and next thing. So amongst African people in the West, because I'm not about in the Africa, you know, it's in the West it affects me. Mental issue is a big problem. Them said, how much? Most of 30% 30, 30 of Jamaican people suffer from mental issues. You can't believe that. <laughs> I never talk about me, Rasta Man, mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they now address most of the mental issues, they them now address, address it because what I find is the mental issues them kind of get placed in the cultural norms you now, just like a youth. A youth that walk with all the pants with the youngest, and him, 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 him develop a pattern now for start walking. You, know? you realize yes, yes, that's yes. a normal. Why, why, a man that, why a man who have a belt and don't buckle the belt? and prefer to walk with him two foot them separate apart, like him in a prison. 
You know, them take off the belt off of the, the, the thing them in a prison because them no want the man them hang themselves and them. Mm -hmm. And the man them a walk with, without belt on them pants in a prison. And the pigeons are dropped down. And then all the guy, the gay guys them in a prison. No recognize them. Oh no, belt no they pants pants them. So we can't do a thing and try a thing. And then no, we adapt that as an issue. And we still are called one another or and niggas uh, and all them something like yeah a dog i'm gonna talk to him for the night what my dog then why am i just we saw him so rich a drunk bro. because if you tell them all these things it's like in a europe i don't know if you hear the thing in a europe in a german you know cannibalism is not illegal in a germany you know you didn't know that no, i never knew that no, I never all right that. all right cannibalism is not illegal murder is illegal no, imagine a man who want to eat a man. I'm just, me not talk, let's be joking, you know, but you're going to laugh, see, you know. A man who want to eat a man, you know. But the man who him want to eat said to him, the only way I'm going to make you eat me is if you crucify me and torture me before you eat me. You know what the man who want to eat the man say? Him not eat a man, the man weird. What kind of weird man that? Him want me to torture him and, 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 and crucify him before me eat him. So I'm not want to eat the man, but guess what? I'm kill the man. You know what I'm charging him for? Can eat murder. the man, you know? Murder. I'm charging him for murder. murder. They're charging him for cannibalism. <laughs> I'm charging him for murder. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm have to kill the man for eating him. You know what I'm But the man, when, when I'm looking at him, but this man is weird. The man want me to torture him before me eat him. He does not see himself as weird, you know? He does not see himself as weird. The cannibal don't see himself as weird. No, because... No, him see the man who I tell him say, but suck him, crucify him as weird. So him say, nah, eat a man there. Because him nah, him nah, not a weird thing. Him not nah, a weird Jesus. thing. So that is where the society there. That is where the society there you now. They make the thing with normal look abnormal. Yes, and I the am. thing with abnormal look normal. So right now the youth, them don't even know how to see what is wrong and what is right, what is detrimental to them and what can make them live. You know, see, them are uh, them are put some things in front of the youth, them the tell tell live vision and the, 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 the YouTube and the this and that. All of them things they bounce up and pick them now. So when you are talking to them both you know, and say, Boy, you're old man, you know, you don't know where you're going. You understand? Know, and when you look on it, you say, But this car right, whether last year, one hundred years ago or ten thousand years from now, where them are do mm -hmm. car right. Them always subliminally. That is why you have a white Jesus in your house because subliminally, even no, in though you're saying, no, in no, no, you, no, you personally. <laughs> me, I talk about you. <laughs> I know you. Uh, yeah, you, you have you have people now who look at it and I say, so it don't make no difference. White Jesus, don't make, yes, it make a difference because if you close your eye and think on Jesus, it's the same picture you're gonna see. No care how conscious it is. No care how conscious it is. You should try and think on Jesus. It's a white Jesus, you're going to say. You have to try your best to configure a black man in your mind. And that's foolishness. That's why I and I say, I say, because you don't have to configure nobody in your head. It's just, you just see a picture. Right. You don't have no picture of Jesus. Every picture where you see right now, a white man draw it, and the original Michelangelo draw that, I'm relative, and just give the world it. And them just satisfy with that. A guy named Leonardo da Vinci just come with a 12 man round a table. I mean, no, see the man them in them days, they never used to sit down around the table for, 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 for deal with the, them parts over and them really. But we accept all of these things and it's embedded in a way. And when we come and start telling them about Osiris and Horus and them say, well, we all deal with all Rasta too, Rasta free to talk about Egypt because them demonize Egypt like the Christian them, you know. You buy your Rasta talk about Egypt, yes, fear of this and fear of that. I ain't no fight against fear, you know, because there was many fearers. You must want one fear. Majority of them don't even know what a fear is a title because Miriam and I talk about fear like it's a person. I mean, like it's one man. True. True. Like it's it, like the same fear with them claim oppressed the Israelite them. And not the same fear with it that live or, or live after before the fear of the Ramesses, you have Ramesses one, Ramesses two, you have Emotep, you have you have Tutakman, you have all sorts of fearers. You know, see, but we get stuck, we get stuck, and that is the problem. Our, our lack of opening up to information, leading us some weird, weird carved curve, because I'm not a prefer believe all of the madness we are going on with them talk about COVID. 
than actually believe the boy right now, watch out. Something out there. Come here, man, I send me song, you know, about COVID is a hoax. And I say, what the shit am I talking about? COVID is a hoax. Something that kill the people, them out there, right? It's not COVID that kill them, you want to kill them. At, at eight people dead today in Jamaica. One hundred are had um, get it now. So it's where kill them people there. It's underlying things, you know, but they would have lived longer if the COVID never did it. You know, see, a man can't have um, high blood pressure, you know, or diabetes, you know, and he would have lived maybe until December, you know, but it's true, the COVID lick him now, him dead now. So when a man tell me, must go play a song, come here, tell him, say, brethren, me not play that song, you know. COVID is a hoax. After me, not <laughs> Donald Trump. And Donald Trump taught that. Me can see people are dead, 200 or 1,000 people dead in America. And me, I said, no, I lie to my tail. I lie to my tail. Lie to my tail where? So you tell me, so no facts. Who no like CNN and CNN who no like facts? Have the same message on them TV, say 200, 1,000 people dead. That all Trump no lick against facts. Something wrong. And then when we come here, so no, me, I said, because they go call election in Jamaica when they're not supposed to call it. It, it is pour up the people them gathering and all them something there. And me must sit down here so no one and say, oh, nah, I wear no mask, you know. All right, you know, I wear no mask because they might try to control you. But tell me something now. Them tell you must wear a seatbelt. Hey, I'm glad, uh, hey, hold on, Wood. I'm glad you brought that up here. Wait, 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 tell you must wear a seatbelt. I see a man, I tell you must wear the mask, I tell you wear a seatbelt, you know. So, oh, if, they, if, if you know, wear the seatbelt, you know. You go get charged, you know. People are saying, yes, it have, have, them want to come charged if you know wear a mask and them want to charge with it. But you don't, oh, you wear a helmet when you, when you ride bike. You usually wear a helmet. A man tell me, say, Muta, you sell out, you know, because you tell people them for wear a mask. Me say, but guess what? Oh, you not tell me, say, me, the government sell out because they might tell the people them for wear a helmet. You might say, but me never born with, born with mask. Me say, but me never born with helmet either. As a matter of fact, me never born with clothes. You know, partiality. No, that's that's partiality. the vibe in the sense that people are on this this control thing, but they're under control already. So I don't see what the big eruption is like. There's more control because your life is already controlled at this point. Oh, I tell you something, something, man. You see, your passport, passport is a control, you know? because all the man. All right, now if they have people that check your passport again, you know, it's about matching. When you're going at the airport, and you say, put your passport, which part the visa there, or where your face there. And you say, when you go so boom and put it, the same things that the man had checked, the immigration did have checked years ago. The machine don't check that. So you don't have to carry you through nothing else, you know. You just say, you're going at the line there, you just go through. And I say, I can't show that, you know. When you go for visa, you go in a, a place, biometrics and all them things, they make you sit up in front and take your picture and all them something there. I can't show that, you know. Yes, I. It's control. It's not that we are telling people so we're gonna make them control the right through, you know. But people are going like, what's your man? I do a business because all the food where they might eat are control. True. Cause they make you decide say, where you must eat and where you mustn't eat. And when we come and I say plant your own food, they might say, Well, I, mean, I have to go to work and all them something. Like, yeah, you better plant food or dead. Just simple that. I mean, I say nobody, everybody now go dead, you know. I say, you learn your life when you have your own things. And that is really what we must search for, especially Rasta. Yes, I and I want I want to lie to something as they mentioned that to the whole self-reliance aspect of the thing. Because I really find it strange now, say more once more more Rasta where I sight up when I raise with them, they must say, Yeah, man, I know make a go work. I'm a start mates. One time we hear them thing, they just sound strange to me. Go well, work. Know. Yeah, Rasta go work. <laughs> <laughs> because I just know it has <laughs> Yeah, we quarantine ourselves for years, man. Uh, we go up on our, our ground, our farm, and our plant, and when we don't we go in the house, go cook, and eat, and chant, and then go back to the ground again. And we know we want to mark it. So that means that we quarantine ourselves, because we don't want to mix up with certain things. We don't even make men and people that touch your food and I touch. I know, I know, I have my own calabash, I mean, I make people eat out of my calabash. Just like how I don't make nobody eat, drink, use my toothbrush. Because people are coming and say, then Mota, I scan, you scan people. Why you don't really want them to eat out of your calabash? I say, you know, so I don't scan you too, I don't want you to use my toothbrush. I just, my toothbrush is a personal thing, like my underpants. I don't give my underpants to wear, you understand? So just left it at that. 
But we used to have our own calabash. Nowadays, Rasta go on like say them not see say the thing get twisted now and it's a fall into place. Mm -hmm. A joke business. A joke business, you show off your calabash, you know. Hey, hey, Woody, you spoke about being in quarantine in the past, right? And I and I um spoke to Prof. I a lot. Could you speak about your experience? Uh Prof. I'm a brethren. Right, let the people see, know people don't understand the history you two have together. All right. You, you see that, that? All right. you see that you see that when we just talked about a while ago about Bush and farm. We go through them things there, you know. Me and profile and others. Wally for others too, you know. A Wally will come up, you know, in the high tal for going a bush will live. In a in a hut, in a tree and a experience river. We don't drink pipe, we see not drink pipe water, say, but we don't drink certain things and we don't go and market and all them someday. If we don't have it in the ground, we don't eat it. You understand? All rice, we go Westmoreland, go buy rice in the dawn, you know, and put it in a flower bag and beat out the dawn and sieve it out and blow it out and eat rice. The only way we eat rice. Are we looking one that? Yeah, yeah, them have red rice and the Indian them used to plant it at West Milan. Yeah, man. All right. You know, say, profile is a bridge in where Chuti Canting will come up. Chuti Canting from Oche to Mantigo Bay. As a matter of fact, when they did up in the hills I live, I go up there because we used to boil oil for living. We used to boil coconut oil and sell it. And then him come live beside I remember a, a, a place named Potosi district. And we and him and others are trad. When we say trad, the rasta trad. You understand? When we say them you to know we are do reggae and all them something. They, they, they would have never do that because they're not into that now. What they call neo rastas. Come talk to a very my wife is a designer. We talk to a very popular reggae artist. Very popular reggae artist. And <laughs> Them send somebody to her to make some clothes for him. And she decides that she'll show him some sample and some clothes. And she sends somebody African looking clothes. You know, the Bridget say, the Bridget say, right, I'm a modern Rasta in them, you know, an African clothes to wear. A silk shirt him want to wear and all them something there. So you must know where the thing there. You must know where the thing there, you know. Because if a Rasta now I show you, say, nah, we are nothing no, no, too African, you want a silk shirt and all them something there. So she just say, all right, make it low that. So if you look on you, them now, most of even the, the, the artists that everybody has seen, they may have seen tear up jeans like everybody, like them a construction worker. There was a time when Rasta, now nah, wear them something there. You know what I'm saying? When we are out of road, man, all even though we're barefoot, we foot shine like any car, shine. Because we just use the coconut. When we don't get a coconut, we save the coconut trash and put it on a stone. And when we go to the road, we just take the coconut trash and rub it. We don't tell nobody if we go do them something or because you have them things in a bottle now. You can't have them something. We just show you how we did view certain things. When you come in at our yard, you're not even like a piece of paper up on the ground. You know? When we start to sweep the ground with the, with the, with the, with the coconut bowl there, when we start to sweep the ground, not even paper, not even like a, you can't drop food on the ground and eat it back. You understand? We never use the support for going in a restaurant and all them things there. We never tell the man if you go in a restaurant you know, because you can go in a restaurant and find food to eat. Just like how you have McDonald's you now got to sell vegetable burger and all these things. And people love those things, fast things. You understand? No, no wrong with that, you know. But I'm just to show you, say, how we are profile and others did that trad. It was like, and my best days are Rastafari, right? Dad. You have a little brother named, don't, don't name, um, where many of you, you, you like know him, my brother named Bombo. The man and woman live up in a, a place named Cascade in Hanover. You have Ayavi. Ayavi. The man there, when, when we are trad man, and some serious tradition in a Rastafari, right? We don't know, Bible and, Jesus and go a bing, you go go on like say so we are church business and them things, but we are turn up and I read Bible and I chant him like a Bible. We are bonfire and a, the fire, the fire go, and the, and the sweet it is, and we are chant down Rome. We are chant on our Babylon, you know, because we understand both Bible and our Bible twist up the thing. You understand? So, me love Prophet, me love him, me love him. And I tell you, we love him because he's one of the only youth we can't. 
look back for no and say, you see that bridge in there? You sent me a talk about me trying to get a few say, a line me a tell, go talk to that bridge in there. You know, I mean, no one can say the same thing. Say, you see that bridge in there when you move that. I know it don't look like me used to try a certain way, but, but talk to him. I'm a bridge in. Nah, he told me still, that's why I asked you the question, you know? Yeah, man. I'm a bridge yeah, in, man. You was raw food when you was up there? Up where? With um, profile in them. You was eating raw food or you was eating cooked food at the time? No, I'm a way I eat cooked food, but where I eat, where, 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 all right. Profile, I don't think profile is raw, I, I mean, cooked food, no, you know. But you see, I, no. I is the one where, I use my body as experiment, you know. You see, we talk about exper experience. Me want to know, you know, the health food thing, you know, the raw food thing, you know, the vegetarian thing, what best suit I. Right now, I realize that the raw food is the best way to go. But I still see some things in it where it no makes sense me to eat raw vegetables and me are planted. Because if I go eat raw vegetables and all them have them Monsanto spraying and this and that and that, it kinda defeat the purpose. You know see if I go cut up cabbage and pop chow and all them someday and when I hear from the show the pop chow have a spray and no care why I wash that you know it not come off you know because it's spray from the root. You understand? So I have to balance how I see things. And I not eat good food because I feel say I have to live longer than anybody else. Because I cannot eat good food yet so now. And a man me run out of my house and I can't let me long said way. But I know say it help I not to go to the doctor to feel pain like normal people. You know, see, I don't want, I don't like pain. And if I can eat certain things for help, I feel, don't take a trip to the doctor. I will do it. And right now, it's so tight to eat or I eat, or so. And then tomorrow, me say, you know, so I don't really want, no. Well, when, when me usually eat, I never usually eat. Only part things I eat, you know, I never usually eat, you know. But you have things when I eat, I never usually eat. I mean, I say, you know, so I don't want that today. And when I start eating again, I say, I don't want that again. And then at two, three years down the line, I say, you know, I say, I eat a piece of tofu. Because years when I eat all them something there, you know. Because years when I eat certain things. But we have to, we have to go like doctor to ourselves. I mean, I not recommend certain food to certain people, but I know that I not go recommend eating meat. And it's not because meat, if a man don't eat me, coming off easy, if a man eat meat, he might go dead quick, you know. I mean, none of them talk like some rasta I say, well, you eat meat. No, you know why I mean, don't eat meat? I don't eat meat because I don't like, no, say, something I have two eyes, nose and mouth. I go eat that to survive because when I look at the animal, them, it's one flesh. It's just different manifestation of it. One life, different manifestation, I should I say. So when I look at a dog and a cow and a goat and a pig, I know why I kill it. I make that live because my thing is life. And really when I look at that, the little dog will sit on beside me. I so no, you know, say if somebody come at the gate right now, you're gonna hear him back and run go outside. It's just that. So Yes, so we just have to say, within the concept of the thing, we travel through vegetarian vibes. We can push this thing like this thing, I know, because that's how sign come up, say, battery low. All right. Okay. Yeah, so, me is a, me is a man where, me have to secure where I'm going to eat. That are my main thing every day. What am I going to eat today? No synthetic nothing. No... No, too much shop business. It's a thing. Because most of the things, watch out. Me, if, if you show you where run on my yard, that's all. Know. Peel tree over there, so coconut tree over there, so jackfruit over there, so apple long, there, so aki, yes, two aki uh, trees behind me, them way there. Me have a grown up, so we may have plant, plant, gross Michel banana, all the different food, them. And that's how we are doing it. 
And even though we dip on the road and we have radio program, we not left the root of the thing. And to me, the root of the thing is how you live. It's just simple as right. it's how you live. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's over there. And that's over there. Yeah, man, man, tell the man, because say the re, the re, the I put the reason right. I say it, it, it connect because human beings come like them concept just tied to death because you just are sure, man. So, what you know? No, so there you can eat all a, all a one island or a kale or something. And I'm gonna say, but if me that them, they all the way are dead. Yeah, I said, but all dead coming at the reasoning. We never have no dead, dead Joke business, business man. reasoning. Joke so business. Like, I, them, I see them critical thinking when we feel like they are them just start swinging. Everybody start pay debt more, more, more attention yeah. and happy life because for them validation, I just yeah. debt alone enough for them validation. Yeah. No, yeah, man, when you, eat, when you eating good food, at least when I eat, I try to eat good food, it's because I don't like doctors. I don't want to be keep going to doctors. I mean, I could have to spend my money to buy something else, a big melon or a big this, or maybe even a new computer. I have to go spend the blood bad money Doctor. to go to get some tablets and pills and injection and all these things. I don't want to go into that. And not that I can't run from it, you know, because I live. Meanwhile, I like talk about eating good food. A man just have him, him chuck and him just blow some carbon monoxide in my face. And right away, I start feeling sick. <laughs> you see, it's not me I show you. So the idea is not to claim debt. Because human being is the only creature upon earth that know them going dead and get up every day and try to prevent it. Prevent it, true. Yes, and you can't prevent it. No care what you say. You could have rust a little more. You could have, you know, you could have also a little more. We are all going to die. I just like to say, if you're born, you're going to dead. You understand? So you hear me I say no. It's not the dead thing that bother me. It's not the debt. It's our living when I live in. Quality our living life. when I live in. Yes. I don't want to just live, you know, I'm say, boy, I'm all, as long as me have life. No, 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 no. Me, but as long as me have life, you know. Me want to have life and have it abundantly. Yes, sir. Yeah, me know, you know, the argument, but boy, boy, as long as me have life, me all right, you know. No, so me don't want to have life and I lay down on the street out of the road. No. The rain comes, sun has burned me and all them someday. And let me start naming things when I say I'm not going to No, I want to have abundant living. Yeah, because yeah, some people suffer before them leave earth. And, and them suffer wicked. So I don't like that. I know, I know so I say it. It's a reality there, talk. No, man. We have, to, we have to live. We have to live sweet, sweet life. Beautiful life. And that's how we you know. Sweet life and beautiful life. That's why I know all this now. This is connection between you where the we over there, so I mean the way over there, so. That is sweet life. Some people can't really afford to do that. I want yes, to afford to do this. And I want to afford to have my computer. I don't have no joke about this. It's, it's, it's 666 and them joke business there. I don't follow, I don't follow them talk there. But about computer is 666 and all them something. Yes, I know a computer and cell phone and things there have certain radiation and it can pass on to you. But I also know that there's things that can counteract it. And not only that it can counteract it, but I know uh, right now I think about I now use my cell phone. Because sometimes I depend on the road and I'd love to hear from where I'm going to my yard. I deal on tour and I want to know where I'm going to my yard. You know, I want to know if my wife is right. I, you know, I just want to know things and it help me to keep in touch. I now go fight against something that help me. It may, it may, okay. Yeah, may I listen? No, as they talk about tour too, you know, I want to tell you, see, article, article, the dino, uh, Jeremiah, we used to tour there. Oh, yeah, the, the, the percussion is? Yeah, oh, man, Jeremiah article. You know, let me know him. Oh, you mean let me know him? No, 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 let me know him. No, no, me, 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 no, me, me I say, that, that was rhetorical still. Me I say, me I say, as they talk about tour, it does leak in the heavens because the man, they are in the article straight away. I mean, no, they used to tour, so it does, they just cross. Yeah, the man, I'm a brethren, man, I'm a brethren. They used to play curve, I'm going to do Sweet outside, well, I shouldn't say that, but I was saying, say, outside of Larry McDonald, Jeremiah, one of the sweetest percussionists. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah, that's still, that's funny because Cause him play for my album too, you know, he play for my long time album too, you know, with him in Jamaica, but <laughs> him no run with Ghana, America, man. You know, just a reason with him yesterday, man, because they, they love their head, though. He love their head, though. Oh, yeah, watch out, <laughs> man, I'm a bridge hit, man, I'm a bridge hit, I'm a bridge hit, but even that's it, though. You see, them science and technology, yeah? 
you know, say Rollins, you know, you know, William Rollins, he was the president of Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he, he overthrew the government before him in a coup. He said, We can be modern but not Western. We can be modern but not Western. So you see, all these things at our fingertips here you now, we can use it, but we have to be conscious that these things can also be our detriment too. You understand? And it is true. It can be a detriment to you. But most of the time I find it very convenient to have a cell phone because it linked me with the world. And I know, say, if the man who them called Jesus was alive now, the mother feels, say, is him father make that which is in heaven? Because it's it, it still bug like, oh, I talk to you, yes or no? And I are Jamaica. And you are hear me real time. True. And I attack you and I do have to leave my yard. I still sit on my yard. First time I used to I want to make a phone call, I have to run go out the road or get a phone boot and make sure I have some quarter and push at the phone. And rain a fall. I have to stay in the boot because rain a fall, you know, I run go back over the yard. Then the mechanics phone know where you can stay in the yard and ring it and ring out your finger every minute. And now you have this. I know I fight against it. You have man who fight against it. I know I fight against it. I keep up with the times. Right now, I, be, I just don't build my internet media station. And you're going to hear about it because it's a total different media from everything else when you hear about the place. It's named RAS Internet. Yeah. R A full stop S S S. The Ra is the sun. And we, our, our logo is the eye, the right eye. Of the, of the Egyptians, the right eye represents the sun and the left eye represents the moon. So we call it Ra Internet. And it's going to be a Pan African Internet station. When we say Pan African, I mean Pan African. We have presenters from Ghana, Algeria, Sudan, and we have developed more, and Jamaica, England, and things there, where we are trying to bring perspectives. With, you see, most media thing we right hear come out of Jamaica. It's pure reggae them are playing. True. If they play reggae, reggae, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, reggae yeah. and dance all, it no matter. Reggae, yeah, yeah. dance all, a pure that them are playing. You see, my thing, my thing is not a music driven station. My thing is a educational driven station. Where even though we have the music, but the music is just a break. So monotony at the talking. Uh, so if we if we put that if we have like Benio Canon lecture, we have Benio Canon, and after Benio Canon we have a little music, and then we we'll go back to our next one like a Malcolm X. We we'll go back to our next one, and then we we'll have presenters. See, and the aim and objective to it is to really bring a different kind of media out of Jamaica, where we not only play reggae, we are play African music, the classical African music, them Fela Kute. You know, you Masikela, you know, Lucky Doobie and all these people. We have, we have, we have uh, what do they call it, you know, um, Afrobeat. But we are saying that our main objective is not to push reggae. Our main objective is to put, is to make the African mind be open through the media. So as you turn on that station and you look at where you come on, you must know, say, oh, Right, they might have been a canon. Oh, they might have cutting edge. Yes, they might have this person planet. I might have this speaker from this planet. And that we are doing. So, you go and hear about it. I hope you guys subscribe to it too. Because we're not letting you in free. <laughs> we're not letting you in free. Uh, because we have to use the done. money. We have to use the money to develop it into a, a level, you know. The resources, man. Yeah, man. We have to use it to develop into a level. And, you, we have plans for it. I was starting, you know, we are test running it right now. You know, that means I listen to the test run when, when, when Mr. says 12 o'clock, I'm supposed to do that. So it named Ross Internet. I see it from the and, display pick, too. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have good art, you're not going to say the name. You see, it? people don't have strong heart, now going to say Ross. I'm going to listen to Ross Internet. That's, yeah. right. That's why we care. Yeah. But it's not, it's, not, it's not a bad word we are trying to push, you know. It's a multiplication of the sun. 
Ross. Yes, sir. When you see it, you're going to see it, Jonathan. So, why are you looking out for that? I would like to get the opportunity to be able to say it at all. Buddha, I got one okay. next question, right? I want to talk about the genius. Of you know, so that they're long. You know, so this this is long. <laughs> the reason they're sweet, though, so we gonna work with it. Right? No, I don't think that. I got to catch me with the last time, too. I got to catch me with the last time. Through the vibes, you know. So mm. no, I want to talk about the genius, right? Because check this. Um, we gonna have a No, the genius. The genius. The what? Genius. 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 Oh, genius. Right? Who for the genius of who? Of you. Eh? Do you how do you prep for your show? Because you're a man don't miss a beat because you mix the humor. Because this is the thing, right? You do a great job. The timing is there and the humor, but you're really talking about some strong issues. But the way you present it is palatable to the people, right? Mm. How do you prepare for your shows? I always want to ask you this. Like, how do you prepare for your shows? Well, first time I prepare for the show when I drive, I watch you go to the show. When I drive, I watch you go to the show, I will put things run across my thoughts. And sometimes I say, you know, so I'm going to talk about that bird there. Eh? And when I reach, I watch him, I say, I'm not talking about the bird, I'm going to talk about the lizard. And then when I reach out of the studio, I say, Chow, I'm not talking about the lizard and no bird, Rasta. I'm not talking about come on my mind. Most of the program, them, the cutting edge, I'm not talking about, not the stepping razor. Because the stepping razor, sometimes some issues are going on. Because the stepping razor is more of a, what you call, social. We are going to Jamaica. True. Most of the things that we are talking about. Yeah. So sometimes we want to do some interviews. So we ask the sister to get certain people. But the cutting edge now, which is the, the, the flagship program, the cutting edge, most of the time it's not planned. We don't plan it. Because we're going to the studio and we sit down and we play two tunes. And we say, you know, say, that tune, I should have played that tape, yeah. I mean, I tell the people, I say, watch you now. I'm going to play a tape tonight yeah, when I want to listen to you. Know. Or I go down the line and I start to reflect on certain things that people said to me in the day. And I say, watch your man. I'm going to talk about that thing. You know. Like me and I listen to other preacher. And me I listen to the preacher. I hear the preacher talk some things. And me I say, but it's one of them people are Rasta. Some of those companies and say, but wait. I want to you tell you how you have preacher talk this man. Right away, it just for four hour water conversation and they have some media to call me and know what's the way. I tell you, they give me pain and hunger, man. After 12, I don't know where them come from. They just come from one of them cobo and just give me all sorts of idea campaign. Them the last year, a, me, a man call me that like yeah. day. Him sound like a foreigner to him. I call me and I tell me, say, we met talk about the Buffalo soldier them. I know the Buffalo soldier them side with the, the, Amer the white people them to kill the the Native American. Native indigenous people. The man called me and said, where me get that from? I said, where me, where me get that from? He said, the, he said, no, the Buffalo soldier was not during the time when the war had gone with the Native American. I huh? said, Bridget, here where are you though? I want you to go back and go look at it because I don't know what you say, but I know say, the Buffalo soldier helped to kill the people them were originally the there, America, because them side with the white people them, who after them don't kill the buffalo, all them don't kill the Native American them, them get the same treatment, treatment yeah. where the Native American get. Him go on to say now that why am I telling the people them foolishness about methane gas, methane? You know methane? Yes, sir. Methane is where Animals fart out and when them have mirrored, it, yeah. it, 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 it helps to pollute the air and everything. The man said, A foolish is not talk about that, not help to deal with no environment. What is happening is that them chipping off the moon, them chipping off the moon, and them saying, Woman go up there, but chip off the moon, and that is why it has created a ozone depletion. Me say, all right, here what you're going to know. Why are you going to look for the world? Me, Thien, and tell me where you see. And next time you call me. About two weeks after I'm calling him back, you know, I say, I'm starting another argument, you know, about the same moon thing, you know. So I say, tell me something, ease up. Where the meaning of me, Thien? You didn't go look for it, him, say, no. I just hang up the phone for him. You know, so he's hard, him, could man, I tell him about Jesus and God and. Them love talk to me about Jesus and God because them say, me talk some things that them never really hear before. And anyway, 
But these things are not planned most of the time. And after recently, I hear a worker come and tell me, say, the boss say, we must tell them the outline of the program. I say, watch, I cannot say that. I cannot do that because it's not something that I sit down and plan and write down on paper, say. I mean, I do it at some time, but it's not a mainstay of the cutting edge to sit down and plan it out. Because sometimes they are so, I'm a wife will say something to me about somebody or something. I mean, just say, yeah, you know, say that issue me should I deal with. I mean, just go deal with it. I mean, I think about it a week. As a matter of fact, I'm sure in all the room, I'm going to watch away from the program. And somebody called me and said, Muta, you know, say, this, that, and this, that, and this, that. I mean, say, hey, you know, say, yeah, that's true. You know, I'm sure I talk about that with you. I mean, just deal with it, you know, so. And just please, people sell me clips every day about certain things. I mean, I have to go through them because some of them have some theories where I can't work with. You know, I can't work with, like the brother where I tell me, I'm going to play a song name. COVID is a hoax and all them. So I say, look yeah, But tell Donald Trump that, you know, not tell me if you go play that, you know. So, yeah, the cutting edge, they're there. They're there for nearly 30 years now. And it helps to do things. It's for other programs to forget brave. I like true and, and influence because the, um, <laughs> you, did a, you did an interview with, I think it was like a Cali. There's an older interview. You did the early 90s, but I read it. And the man, the way you broke down the whole drinking thing, why you don't drink and why you don't deal with flesh thing really pierced me tell the truth, you know? So yeah, that's yeah. when we really started the um the whole the the whole try. So we give thanks for that same way, you know. You know so most people who eat meat, if you tell them to kill the animal where they're gonna eat them and I never nah, kill it. Nah. Then something nah. wrong with that. If God wanted you to eat animal, it wouldn't make them with eye and foot for run from you. Cause that is really where they might do. They might run right from there. you. It's a joke business, you know. If you eat all the money, you know, it's a joke business. Terrible. You all man are the Americans go in a helicopter. This is weird, you know. They go in a helicopter and hunt fox and wolf to kill them. You know why them kill the wolf and the fox? Because the wolf and the fox are kill them animal where them go kill for eat. <laughs> I can't believe that. They might kill an animal because they don't want the animal to kill the animal, but they might kill to eat. You ever hear the thing about the, 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 the society for the prevention of cruelty to animals? True. Mm -hmm. You know, say years ago, them come to me and ask me if come read some poetry at them barbecue. I say, <laughs> <laughs> when I have a barbecue, we a barbecue, tofu. <laughs> they said, no, they said, she said, you know, man, it's a one real like a white job here, can't you know? Like, you know, Mujo, I didn't even think of that, you know. I said, yes, think about it. You can't have a provincial approach, you have a big cow and goat. A joke, joke double business. Double standard, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, that's not, that's not double, that's not double standard, that's not. 10 to the grid divided by <laughs> multiply by and add to, yeah. And this, 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 this is the last question I have, unless our taxi has a next Usually question. when a man say that, I start to fret because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell him, say, boy, you want to see me want to go to the bathroom before he say the last question. Check yeah. this. I, I, um, I know you, you, um, you interview more and more plan, all right? Because I listened to that reasoning. Yeah. Did you ever get a chance to meet Leonard Howell? No, 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 no. No, I never. Leonard Owell, I think in 1968, Leonard Owell dead. I think, if I remember my mind. I did still go to school, I twist up my ear to make it look like it laps. I did just go now to go explore 12 tribe. I did I hear about 12 tribe now. And so, no, 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 Leonard Owell, never meet him, never meet him. But I read about him. They are they are they are they are reason like 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 Marty Marty still you know like Marty my plan like I see the man. I got everybody say. The man they the man they bring your son and I hear that even know when you say yes. Where am I go? I hear that after listening, just listening. Yeah. And you just know say yes. When time he come forward, yeah. I read. The right, right that's all. Yeah man. Yeah yeah man. Great man, great man. Yeah, we love the guy man. And what do we give thanks for the reason still you know? Yeah man, man. give thanks, brethren, give thanks. Um. I can't go back to this station, you know, because we are doing a test run, you know, you know? We are doing yeah. a test run because we hope to bring it out early next month, yeah. And we are saying, 
Yeah, it's Ross Internet and Ross. Ross. No, no, Ross. 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 No, no, Ross. no, no, no. Look at where I put another A on it, for man. A one A. <laughs> Raw. Raw. Full stops. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See there. All yeah. right. That's Amazing. Right. And it's not right. a radio need as internet media. Yeah. Yes, we have function in the Pan Africanist global village where we are bring things to the ones them where they never usually hear from any radio where I come out of Jamaica. Because the youth them full of peer music here right now. Nothing for edify them, nothing for make them be aware of certain things. True. And them feed themselves with YouTube, Instagram, and them something. And if you look on it, some frivolous little things. Frivolous. Some say frivolous to me, like frivolous is girls and girls. And you know, you have girl a wine up and girl, and man a wine up and girl. And see it? You look at all the video today, you know. The video them now telling a story. True. A man have a tune. And it, all my friends do is get two girls that wind up and make the cameraman catch our bottom in front of the video. What we will come to, where black people come to, that every video where you look one, woman are wind up in night. What the hell is happening to black people? Or we reach a stage there. Every video when we look pan. And you every still, you know. Oh, what do I look pan still? I don't can, can, um, um, say, can you know, say, talk about the, the contemporary dance hall music. Yeah. A contemporary that because that's around the place, I know, you know, dance all around the place, and I know reggae, you know. True. Yeah, we, we know sentimental, you know, we know say, dance all around the place. True. And when you look on the dance all video, them, if a woman know in the video, it come like it's a joke business. Mm -hmm. And the woman know in the video because of something qualifying the woman's ability to use her brains. That is what it is. It's not doing that. It's just using her body. And that is really what they're doing. They're using the, the, the African woman's body. And the African woman is allowing them to do that. That's why I'm sure it's a lot. That's why white people can't chat anything where they want to chat against black people. Because we are behaving like that. If you look at how they are dancing and the dance, that's not dance. That is beastie. Beastie. When man jump on woman and woman lay down on ground and make man do all that thing and then put all fire upon them bottom and push up back pin them and all these things. Them say that is dance. Now if me is a white man and me I say that, me not free you know. Me not free you if me say that. Come here and say these people can't be free. No man, them too wild. We need to put leash behind, in front, behind them and that is really what is taking place in the so-called dance hall now. And then when we go to Africa, we see the youth, they follow the dance. Because they used to follow reggae one time, you know. And we did a hope for the dance hall to reach Africa. But now it reached Africa. Nearly every little radio station, internet radio. Pure dance hall, you hear on it. Oh. You can't play all up. You can't, hey, watch out. If you're a party in Jamaica, you know, and some youth there, you know, after about 16, 15, and you play all of Dennis Brown, you know, them call and accent. And you can't play some popcorn and this and that. I mean, I fight that until, you know. But it's when I used to listen to the music when my mother used to listen to. I mean, listen to the music when me did like. You see the music, you know, if the music not fit them genre, them not listen to it. That's why when you go down to the radio station and you have a man all play some music and you ask him, a reggae, and you ask him, who sing that song there? He might look on the computer. And when he look on the computer, the name not there because it marks track one and track two and track three. Hmm. Because I never remember for putting the name them. See? So right now, what you see now is a is a narrowness, as you call it, it's a box. The youth them in a box. And you have some whole people, now nah, to young people music. So you have a, a generation gapping going on. It's when we are playing for red, or even if it get wider and wider. Reality. You still can't touch one another. It's, it's like the six feet thing not working. Really? Anyway, yeah, so the program go, man. I'm gonna tell that to, I, I, I know as a musician, to, as, I, I raised with that a second time, but you know, see, you know, one thing I always know still last time, I never, I never try to push an agenda on the eye yet, you know, because you miss the eye vibration. Because you know, me as a musician, I'm never tell you, say, you know, someone want to check the eye, check him email or something yet still. Although, me, more check me email all the while, man. 
No, me I say what, what, the reason me I say what I want to do it because enough time here they are reason about something and say oh the youth them kind of last certain way and enough time the, 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 the song them where I come with and the vibration I feel like mm. something would have resonated to them. I mean, it's not a selling thing. Yeah, you are youth. You are youth. What do you say? <laughs> oh, yeah, I say. Yeah, so <laughs> you are fresh. You are youth. They are not fresh too. You know, so oh, yeah, I say. <laughs> look for <fire> again. <laughs> Then look for me again. No, no, send it, man. Send it. Yeah, man, I can do that, man. I do that, man. Send I, it, I, man. I tell that this three days day, I took a Johnny Jogger, the old man, show me, say, I'm at the man. Ah, look there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, them tune there. Them tune there. Yeah, yeah, man. Right. Give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. And no, I got one last question. I forgot that. You see what I mean? That's I don't like people last say about last question. That's the last one, right? I just I know like people say last hey, question, you know. Where you getting the clothing from? Because every time I see you, you're fresh. So I, I just, uh, where you getting the clothing market from? Market in Africa, man. Me, me shop in market. I shop in Macy's and Fur Juicy and Rug Lucy and all these people. You know, from Fifth Avenue in New York. I go to Africa. I go into the market. The best place for me anywhere me go is in the market. Me okay. spend most of my, my wife go to Morocco, man. Every day. We we'll take taxi going to the market. I spend the whole day in the market. Yeah. Most of the furniture them when me have in my house. Me not have no. What you call? What you call them furniture? There? Coats furniture. People who are indigenous make them furniture. If you look at my wall over there, so I can't see if I can show you the wall over here. So you can see the wall. Yes, yeah. I. Yeah, and my wall that. And this is how we. All the people afraid when them say all them things when them come in here. Sweet. You see what me I show you? Sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Them afraid, them afraid for coming here, come see them things there. So me just I show you say the clothes that me have is either me get the cloth and make it, and me just most of the time it's cloth me get in Africa and, and make them. This yeah. one me have on, you know, Senegal me buy it. I'm not going up, me not going up Fifth Avenue or Sixth Avenue or any avenue where they have to go buy clothes. I'm not that. I have to find some indigenous people, some people where we out. Sweetest place them, I ever get clothes. I, I know the Maasai market, Maasai market in Kenya, mm, Kenya is sweet, man. That, the cloth in the cloth in them places are totally different. In a Kenya, different, different kind of African print. Because the African print right now in Ghana, China it come from. You know, see, mm -hmm. all the Kente cloth now China. So, me know everybody want to buy cloth again in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a Ghana. Me wait to go to Senegal. Because Senegalese make cloth. They make big cloth maker. You understand? Plus, we have other ways. Even if we use cloth where Jamaican cloth people buy and for sell, when we are make it, it now nah look like oh, see me, me, me fight against certain things to the core, you know. Anything when me car, it's like car now. Me not see African I make car, so me have a car where it's basically white people make it, and like certain things, me use it. But you see my everyday goings, yeah, things that me wear and things that fill up my house and them something there. Yeah, we have to maintain it, Africa. Africa, to the core. We don't yes, shift from that. Most of the things that we get materially at Africa, give me it. Yes, you know, see, I can't tell you that. It's not Europe tour me go do and get it. It's Africa yes, me go, go get it. So, me yeah. all right. Yeah. Me all right. Man. Me I not facilitate no more question though. Yeah, man, the greatest thing, man. I blessings every time, man. As there, you said that, man, the most love we get across the world, a Kenya give it that to a, a East Africa, Uganda. So, that blessing. Yes. No you see, a Uganda, you see, I'm here keep it up now, you know, because I always talk about something that I want to say. <laughs> uh, you see, Uganda, you know, the woman when him, Naya Bingi. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I. Queen Mwamusa. And that's where she come from, you know. True. Yeah, man. All right. All right let me it. tell you something. You see, Rasta. Rasta Balo, Naya Bingi, a mama, you know. Well, you see, most Rasta don't know so as a woman, they might get Isis too, they might get praises too. Because there was a time when you go to Bingi, they don't allow women to be jumping at the house. You understand? Which is about called up, and Naya Bingi's spirit is a female energy. And they will recognize it. That's why I said the Christian thing, 
kind of confuse the issue. Because them read the Bible say a woman must not um, preach in at the church. I can't tell what Paul say. Woman must have preached at the church and had them someday. Yet still, they might heal Naya being gay, which is a female energy. And these women used to fight against white people, colonial, British colonialism in Africa. You know, see? But because of big Bible, they might follow Corinthians and I follow Paul. Listen to that brother, we don't even know if it did exist. I said, well, right now, woman must not talk because man is the head of the woman and Christ is the head of the man and all them foolish, you say. And I call people Eden and pagan and all them something there. Them, them, them think they can't work again. They can't work again. Because Paul letters never write to me. It writes to the Corinthians, to the Ephesians, to all of them people there. Why a man did I write a letter to somebody and you go read it and things are you might talk? Paul never talked to me. I'm African. Yoruba tradition. Yes, I. Kemetic tradition. Akan tradition. All of them things that we have to explore. Zimbabwe, in a Zimbabwe. Deep in the Congo. Them kind of places where we want to go. Voodoo. I don't have no man about, I don't have no argument with no rest of man about where that should be vile and I don't have a man this and that. I don't have that. I don't have that because I know some man named Bookman left Jamaica. And go ahead right. to go upset them up with cat and a voodoo up your muse. Shook sure, friends. Me know said Taki. Taki was a hobby man. That's why I'm gaining respect. Nanny was a hobby woman. That's why she gained respect. And most of the people them who lead rebellions, they have a kind of what we call spiritual connection with themselves. And even Paul Bogle, who themselves was a deacon. Paul Bogle never give up in African ways. Really and even, the, even in America, watch out, even in America, in a I can tell you something. You see, I will for them gospel song with black people, right? I know Jesus said a praise, you know. It's a code. Like Ariad Tubman and all the women there, when they talk about all the underground railroad and, you know, roll three chariot coming forth to carry me home. They think of Jesus, they talk about them and go home to. A freedom. That's why most of the most of the gospel song them, and this is true, most of the gospel song them were black people right. It's only played on the black key on the piano. And know something when I hear, you know, I hear about it, I'm gonna examine it and realize it. But right, it, black people dangerous, you know. In a them time though, when they learn to play the piano, them write song and play it on the black key because they are exempt the white key them. This is a truth, you know. This yes, is a man. truth. So when we are talking now, we are saying the liberation can be attained through our initiative, you know, and where we have. Instead of really a crossover. Where we are crossover, go. You know, so every time we cross over something slip, I will slide. Yeah, me, my mother used to say me go to a Roman Catholic church. And in a Roman Catholic church, there was a time when the person take the Eucharist, which represents the flesh of Jesus Christ. And the wine, which represents the blood of Jesus Christ. And he said, eat. This is my flesh. Drink. That's how the Bible tells us that Jesus has said, you know, drink, this is my blood. Uh, at the highest of cannibalism that they are playing out in the mind, you know. And yet them say, no. The other day, some COVID leaked some people. They don't say, why? Well, they can't catch COVID because they're washing the blood of the lamb. Them washing the blood of the lamb. And that I will save them. So how come so much COVID about the place? I mean, you know, all them church people the way I say them can't save this and save that. I mean, you know, none of them have sprinkled them olive oil and the blood of Jesus to save them thing. As a matter of fact, I will leave the things that go on, the COVID things that happen. Happening at the church because they gather together and not talk about the blood of Jesus and the whole part them catch COVID in the church. So this idea of Backwardness, what am I call about African spirituality is backwardness. What is more backward than a man I tell you, say, a man dead, raised, and there's somewhere and I wait for some time, I don't know when, to come back again. For what? Which man I got dead and gone up in the sky to come? A backwardness. Yes, but black people all the time latch on it. 
say a man will come come save we. And a man will come come. And a true we, a true we, we do wickedness while we skin black. You ever read the book of the Mormons? Nefaya? Yes, sir. But them tell you, say, the reason why the Native American them skin dark and true, them upset the apple card. Yes, sir. <laughs> and black people, a terrible thing, you know. And you have black people walk around it and go on like, say, I don't matter, you know. Eh? Black you people know say, Master, slaves, be obedient to your master. And black people bow to that. So when we are singing, we should not sing against the system. We should not sing some little blood bad Christian song and Naya Bingi when Naya Bingi don't have nothing to do with Christianity. Naya so Bingi cool. have to deal with fire, fire, fire. The woman them chant round the fire, just like you know, Naya Bingi. And them do things to get rid of white people when all them blood bad African go in as Haiti and them do have no gun and thing. All them just wait till night and just kill a chicken and tie up in front of a white man's house. When him come out and him see the dead chicken, him gone back to France. I don't understand where I go on. I never see them thing they yet. Mm, in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia during the war, Ethiopians eat raw meat. You know, you know what Ethiopians eat raw meat? Yes, sir. All right, Ethiopians eat raw meat. You know, you know what happened? In the palace, one of the palace, them, in Manasseh, the Wolipa Palace. When the guys them come in, when Italian them come in at the country, the, the Ethiopians them get the cow them, kill the cow them, and I eat the meat at the palace, and I will leave a blood at the palace. You see, when the blood bath, Italian them come in, them feel there's some human being, the man, you know, and they run. Science. Because they believe, say, I can't about them, black people, them, I can't about them, I eat other Italians. So there's certain things where, we know, and them don't know, even though them know things where we don't know. But we must use our to have to disposal. We have our brains. And we have to move outside of that. We have to connect with our ancient philosophy, spirituality, and everything there. So when you hear some rats talk about, we have nothing to do with all this and all that, you know, a joke is my joke. And that help free a whole heap of African. You know, you about them talk about how oh, 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 nanny use so spit fire through a bottom and all them things there. And a <laughs> boil water. You never hear about it yet? Yeah, and take shot in a party and them say. Yeah, and a boil water without fire. A joke business, you know, not, not so silly, no. But if you have a culture and open up the hill and a boil, boil water, you know. Just when white people come up, I, I come up the hill, she don't turn it over upon them, you know. And she becomes. Greater power, power, and some people start fear just like, just like Taki, you know. Taki lead the biggest rebellion in the Caribbean, in, the, in the Jamaica, sorry, go all the Westmoreland. And the only way them could have killed him you was know, cut off his head and put it in a square to make them say, see it there? When you have, if he say him have power, see him head in a square there. And it kind of softened them, the, 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 the fight of them. You understand? Bookman, go and eat, go, go and wait name there. You think Tosan. Tosan did well popular, you know, but Bookman, Bookman, who did have certain African way, African tradition to frighten them blood bad people there. Eh? And the real strategies. Yes, so we have to use what we have bridging. There's certain things at our disposal that we can use. All right. You see, Ob Obia, you know why Obia illegal in a Jamaica? Because white people realize eh, it was used against them, yet yeah. still. The Obia man use medical and not medical herbs and all them things there for heal people and all them something there. You understand? Just like the Native American them. Native American them use herbs and sage and all them things there for heal people. You understand? So it's seen as bad because it, it goes against the white people them. It's seen as bad now because a whole lot of black people use it against them black people. So them continue the madness. I now recommend Obia. I just have said that I <laughs> don't see nothing wrong with it. You know see? Just like a white black people don't see nothing wrong with go to church, go drink the blood of Jesus and eat him flesh. Sure, I not see no, 
But I now go to church, go drink the blood of Jesus and eat him fresh. Just like why now go to an Obia man for make him sell up nobody's foot. <laughs> you know, all I have to do is give him a raw slick for him foot at the swell. <laughs> right, <laughs> direct. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. I look for us, man. I watch out. Hey, people see me, I want to be able to find out things that some high spiritual African, you know, how do you do that, you know? We see white people start to shake, you know, and quiver because they see me. Because they might get cold for me. When they look at me in a barefoot, and I'll be low zero, but they are at a certain place in Holland and Switzerland and them places. And I say, Oh, you do that? Oh, you do that? Man, you, you must be some this and that. I say, No, man, nothing. You just arrest them and I try to make feet to the lad. You know, see, it's just so. I and I'm 40 years now, where I do it. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, Mountain.